Hi and welcome to another of my Cool Moves tutorials for GoAnimate. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own GoAnimate stick figure actions and how to animate those actions. I'm going to introduce you to tweening and I'm going to show you a little bit of action script. So as you can see, I've already got cool moves open and I've already made my stick figure character and what I'll do is I'll go into his actual movie file if you recall from previous tutorials how to make a that we did on how to make a character and I've put him in a movie movie file with one frame, no tweens. And I'll just show you how he's actually made up. If I bring him into the middle here and just magnify him a couple of times. Uh, what I actually did to create him was take a snapshot of one of the actual stick figures in GoAnimate and then I just imported that image into here so this is the screenshot that I took you can see down here that's my screenshot that I took from GoAnimate and brought into cool moves that I traced don't need that now so I'll get rid of it So this particular character, I'll show you how he's made up. His head is one group, so it's got just a circle, and eyes and the mouth in it, and his actual eyeballs are um, separate as well. His body is just one shape, you can see there, it's one shape, curved at each end. You'll notice I've got two points in here that mark roughly where his waist would be, so it can bend at the waist. And then each arm is a group made up of a single line that has two sections and an ellipse for a hand. So you'll see if I move that, that's all one group. And then the legs, each of those are just single lines with a point at the top, a point for the knee, and a point for each of the feet. So I've kept it really simple. The lines themselves, I've given, like for his arms and legs, I've got a line width of 5, just to make them slightly thicker. So that's the structure of my character. Now let's get on to actually animating him. Okay, now to animate your own moves, it's a good idea to do some planning before you get into cool moves, which is what I did. So I'm going to import a trace file of some of some stick figures that I did when I was planning out this move and the actual planning stage only took me about 15-20 minutes I think since we're only using stick figures you should actually take some time to plan your action sequence on paper or in a paint program or something first and we'll save you a lot of time in cool moves. So as you can see here, this is my sequence that I planned out. See these ones here up the top are my rough drawings that I started with. And this drawing here was the actual one that I decided that's what I was going to animate. And I went from that and attempted to work out 
what positions I would need to get from a standing position here to this position and then back to a standing position so this is the sequence that I've worked out so what we're going to do first is get our stick figure that we've drawn up here and we're going to line him up with the first action over here as you can see he's way too big to go with that so I'm going to resize him using the resize tool which is this one just here scale resize you can see that gives you five different handles these two here will scale him uh, scale his width this one and that one will scale his height if you want to scale him proportionally then you use this corner one here so I'll use that just to bring him down until he looks about the right size and move him and that's roughly the size of my first figure so the next thing we want to do is add a keyframe and what I'm going to do is add a keyframe for this move here to begin with so that I can introduce you to tweens so we'll do the add frame button and we'll add a copy of this frame to the end as you can see that's now giving given us two frames that are identical you see if I move the slider nothing actually happens because they're identical but we're now on frame 2 and what we're going to do is select our man over here and move him so that his new position matches this character here so now we've just got to move the limbs so what I'll do is I'll start by getting his the top part of his shoulder in roughly the same position of where it needs to be then I'll get his body in roughly the same position and I'll get this shoulder where it needs to be then I'll get the top part of each leg where it roughly needs to go Now what we're going to do is use the rotate tool to rotate those parts into position. The rotate tool is the second one along here. You see here there's an actual center point which is what everything will rotate around. So I want to move this arm, rotate it around the shoulder. The first thing I do is grab my rotate point and put it exactly where the shoulder is. Now you see when I move this arm it rotates from the shoulder so I'll line it up roughly with that shoulder or with his elbow and then I'll do the other arm so select that, rotate, move the rotate point where his shoulder is and bring that arm up and we'll do the same for his legs rotate bring the center point up to the top of his leg and rotate that up do the same for other leg and 
rotate that. You'll see here his knees and feet are nowhere near matching, but don't worry about that for the moment. I'll just rotate his body. Now his body needs to rotate from where his neck is because that's what I lined up. So do that there and you'll see his body is actually possibly a little bit too long at the moment. So what I'm going to do is go and get the scale tool now. And just scale his body back a bit. Roughly where I need it. Then move it roughly into place. You'll notice, like with this line, he's got a bit of a curve and he's leaning into that. So what I might do is go into the point editor, which is this tool, and select, select both these two points by selecting the first one and then shift clicking on the second one which will let me move them both at the same time like so just to give that body some shape you notice now this arm is not quite in the right position because I've moved the body over so I'll move that arm down a bit and I might just move his head a little bit too. Now, his hands are in the wrong position, so what we need to do now is select his hand, select the point editor. Now we want to move his whole hand and the first point on his arm down to here. So we do that by dragging and selecting just those points. Now if I just put the cursor over one of the points and start moving, you'll see everything moves with it. So I'll put it about there. We need to do the same with his other arm. So we shall select that. that's selected, get the point editor tool and select everything for his other hand, grab hold of one of the points, stretch that out. Now we just need to do his legs. We just need to move this bottom part of his leg, so just make sure we've got that leg selected. Point editor and select those. Drag one of the points. As you can see that straightens out his leg. We might just make his foot a little bigger too, just to emphasize this kick. Now we go to his other leg. And this one's going to be a little bit different because we need his knee to come around and bend underneath him. So what I'll do is I'll get the point editor. And I'll move his foot first. Bring that round to there. Get his actual foot. Bring that down a bit. Now I've got to get his knee joint and drag that out. Now, if I hide the trace image, you'll see there's our character in his new position. 